Hi Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. Um, otherwise feel free to have a browse for your other August readings which are up on my channel. Um, if you're interested I have linked a few of them in in this video. Otherwise let's get straight into it. Love that the Queen of Pentacles popped up for you. Amazing. Let's get into it and see what's coming up for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for August. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, the Devil, Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups, Ten of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Okay, let's start off with the Queen of Pentacles. Quite an auspicious card to get. I love the fact that you've come up in your power here as well with the Devil card. Um, lots of things happening here for you but let's talk about the queen of pentacles she represents a lot of stability okay she represents finally reaching a point of completion finally reaching a point in our lives of um, fulfillment or feeling genuinely rewarded now for a lot of you this can be in a relationship with a fellow earth sign or a water sign a cancer pisces or scorpio in particular because you have the two of cups twin flame love coming in around you here capricorn um, but i do feel like it's you finally reaching a new stage in your either your career in your financial realm creatively professionally or in your relationships here and i absolutely feel like you're coming in with a great energy to kick off august i think there's a lot of growth around you or you might see a lot of growth in a lot of different areas of your life you can see she's lovingly looking at this pentacle here so she's holding something in her hands that is of value now I almost feel like something you've been reaching for or something you've been meaning to bring into your existence is definitely within your reach or coming in around you uh, kicking off in August so that's quite powerful it could be emotional fulfillment as well the Queen of Cups represents a wealth of emotion genuine bliss happiness and she too holds the Holy Grail here so especially if you are connecting with a water sign friend lover colleague collaborator crush etc I really feel like you're going to reach a new high in particular because the cups has come up and this person is has completely fallen for you or they're ready to submit to you you have submission here with the devil card now this can represent you because you are represented by the devil card here Capricorn so in one way I feel like um, you're really coming into your power okay uh, there's a real dominance coming in around you or an energy um, and it's coming in at it's quite fast pace as the knight of swords indicates here Capricorn and what it essentially points to, anything to do with partnerships, relationships, you're going to have a lot of control. Now, maybe you felt you didn't have as much control or as much reign or as much say about how things were happening around you. But suddenly everything is shifting and it's shifting in your favor here, Capricorn. So I really feel like the you'll have a lot of power and control, okay? Especially when it comes to influencing other people or being on their mind. I really feel like you're going to dominate someone's thoughts, really dominate someone else's energy because you're coming up as, as very, very influential. And I do think you're connecting with different people on different frequencies and vibes as well. But the devil card can also be temptation, sexual, sex, um, overindulgences, possibly manipulation here. I do feel for a lot of you there could be a few sexual episodes coming up, so one night stands or physically intimate connections here. Um, but it, it, it could be tense on the connection here as well because you do have burdensome energy that sits below the devil. So look, there could be overindulgences here, Capricorn. There could be temptations here. Um, coming in around you temptations that you'll have to work hard to resist or you know someone else might be finding you extremely tempting and they're finding it very hard to resist you and your power so I mean it, it's coming in with quite an intense energy with the devil card but just be mindful there could be a fire sign here you can see the fire torch and ones represent fire so an Aries Sagittarius or the symbol of Leo here there could be someone under the under a fire sun moon rising Venus sign that's trying to manipulate you or trying to tempt you could be a bit of mind games yes <clears throat> But temptation, I feel like they want power or dominance over you or they feel, you know, the, the devil makes us submit. It brings us to our knees. So there could be someone around you that just 
is very, very eager to submit or to surrender to you, Capricorn. This could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's almost like this person can't help but feel very drawn to you or can't help but keep coming back to you. So it's like a moth to a flame energy here. Now, there could be a bit of irrationality. Whether or not it's an air sign, it's hard to say. If this is not an air sign specifically, it could be that someone rushes to say things or commit to things they don't know if they can commit to, but they're just so in the moment. Um, you'll just be so in the moment when this happens or someone's words slip out and it could be anything. It could be, you know, I've got feelings for you. I want to connect with you. Um, I, I, you know, I want you to love me. I want you to think about me. I want you to obsess about me like I do about you. And I point more to a relationship because I see a man and a woman linked here. So this is why I think there's possibly irrationality or a very fast paced energy or things that become very dark very very quickly here capricorn so it could be a bit of a uh, a cautionary um, message here as well some of you might have a twin flame union coming in very very quickly around you i love what the two of cups represents the two lovers coming together into a beautiful union here um, based on genuine emotion and happiness and love so i do sense that there is um form relationships might be forming very very quickly or um connections are, are, are being um, connections are being formed very, very quickly. I almost wanted to say just then, Capricorn, don't tempt fate, okay? Don't tempt fate because what it could bring you back with is tenfold, okay? So don't tempt fate, okay? Or someone around you, someone significant, a spouse, a lover, a boss, someone is tempting fate. Someone might be going against, against the grain here in a very, very impulsive or even destructive manner, okay? Let's have a look at the Queen of Cups. Uh, possibly something significant happen happening in the middle of the month around a water sign, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This is genuinely feeling rewarded, genuinely feeling happy and blissful. It's also attaining the Holy Grail. So there's a peak in your emotions happening during the mid of August. I'm wondering if it's a water sign that's going to make you feel this way. Or if it's not the case, there could be something happening in your career. It could be more money. It could be a new asset. It could be the connections you're connecting. You're connecting with very powerful, powerful players here, Capricorn. Just be mindful. Now, you could be one of them, yes. But when power greets power and power mer merges with power, it can create something very, very indestructible. So maybe this is the hike, the spike in feelings coming up here with the Queen of Cups energy. But she also is very soft and compassionate. So I'm seeing if there is troubles with the devil card in relationships or manipulant, um, energy, manipulative energy or someone trying to gain power or... You know, if you've built a very sexual connection or attraction with someone and you're wanting it to become further, you're wanting this to become a deeper connection, there is a possibility that that is happening because physical connections could turn into emotional ones very, very quickly. And before you know it, you're in a relationship with this person. So for those that are partaking in those sorts of activities, emotions, empathy, um, commitment and love can be offered and can be received surprisingly quickly, okay, in the formation of your relationship. You also have the Ten of Wands, which is this burdensome energy here. So I'm wondering if it is in regards to that devil energy, if these tensions are in fact something to do with um, carrying a burden. Now, the devil can be greed, it can be gluttony, it can be lust, it can be wrath, okay? So I feel like some sort of factor um, that is attributed to the devil could cause that burdensome heavy energy. And there might even be a fire sign around you that feels like they're doing all the work. They feel like they're putting in a lot for you and they hope you're worth it, okay? It's almost like you might not be putting much effort or reciprocating much, for that matter, in a business um, entity, in a collaborative sense, um, in a relationship, in a connection. They might be doing a lot of hard work, but they don't feel like you're doing that either, okay? Um, they don't feel like they, they're getting it back from you. And as a result, it could cause tensions and flare-ups for some of you. But it's definitely in connection with another person here. But for the most part, I do feel as though people around you will be working hard. You might be delegating tasks. I feel like people are trying hard to impress you, okay? Or, or they possibly feel like they're walking on eggshells around you, okay? They're trying to accommodate you in the best way they can. Uh, Capricorn and this is their way of doing it this is their this is the hard work okay it's opportunity it's action yes it can also be manual labor and hard work you know it's the devil's whip so some of you might even feel overworked okay career creative pursuits 
um, money making endeavors could potentially be quite uh, quite busy quite intense during the month of August okay and it's going to require a lot of hard work a lot of dedication and a lot of commitment in fact I'm not sure if you'll even have time for leisure time it might come at the beginning of the month and nowhere thereafter but let's look what the ten of ones is facing um, relationships could face trials and tribulations but also peaks and triumphs okay there's the peaks and triumphs there's the trials and tribulations but ultimately you'll come you'll become stronger out of this because the two of cups mirror each other they are there for each other they bring compassion stability they're eager to please they're eager to make things work again they're dedicated to making things work so if you do have a relationship that's been a little bit on the rocks um, in the recent past or perhaps in the time of August you will become a solid once more if you're waiting for someone to contact you I do feel like this person might want to reconcile whether face to face I could end up being a physical encounter maybe um, but they could genuinely want to reconnect with you and I do feel them feeling like awakening all these emotions because they feel so happy to see you or to be able to connect with you once again here Capricorn but it could also be a very important meeting possibly even proposals for some of you marriage proposals entering into a union your future fiance coming into your life in the time of August um, entering a contract or a union or some sort of binding party maybe for the purposes of medicine you've got the ancient medical symbol here maybe you're entering into an online contract or solidifying documents a contract could come fairly swiftly uh, or if you connect with this person in the month of august by the end of the month you might have a contract to become wholesalers to become partners in a business um, so on and so forth but ultimately this is twin flame energy that's coming in around you and I do feel as though there's twin flame vibes, the devil, the two of cups. Often when we have a twin flame partnership in our lives, it comes with intensity, which is what the devil can bring. Um, but it can also be temptations, okay? Some of you might be wanting to partake in extramarital affairs or pursue a love interest that could be taken, married, engaged, or in a long-term relationship. So some of you might be playing with fire here capricorn so i just wanted to mention that if you could leave behind a like or a subscribe that'd be very much appreciated capricorn have a fantastic month and we shall be connecting soon bye for now